I'm wearing a Mark's Tarantulas t-shirt, check that out. He sent me this after, um, you might have seen in one of my other videos, that me, Sam and Beth had all gone out and caught him some green fang tube web spiders that we have down here. And I asked him if I could have one of his t-shirts because they're friggin' awesome. And he was posting a lot about them at the time. And so he did me did me a little deal on it for doing him a favour. I chose Baby Pink, which is awesome. I love it. Everyone needs to get themselves a Mark Tarantulas t-shirt. So if you want one for yourself, make sure you go and message him, speak to him, and he will sort you right out. And it is in baby pink because today, as promised, we are looking at my pink dragon millipedes. So if you have seen one of my videos about my Thai pink dragon millipedes before, um, you will know, well, I'll give you a little background for anybody who, who doesn't know. So here's a little backstory. I got some at show quite a while back and I had them in this little enclosure here. I had two of them and they died, but when I went to clean the enclosure out, I found two babies. I also received from Sam at Bug Grounds uh, for Secret Saviour gift in one of my other videos. Um, I got two adult Thai pink dragon millipedes and I put them into this enclosure with the two babies that I found in the other enclosure. And I said I'd come back and give you some updates later on down the line to see how they're doing and, and what's gone on since then. I have been taking care of the millipedes as shown in one of my little care videos for them. It, I was hoping that we would get some babies in here too. And we have had. I've noticed a lot more millipedes in here appearing, popping up here and there. have noticed some um, dead ones every now and then, so I don't think they have a very long lifespan. But they're certainly reproducing. But I don't know how many are actually in here in total. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to very carefully empty out this enclosure and into a, a larger tub that I have. So we could try and count how many millipedes we actually have now. I kept this little enclosure going um, the same way as I kept them before and unfortunately there is no other life in here. Um, so the millipedes that I took out before must have been the only two that were left. So we don't need to use this one anymore but I can reuse any of the substrate and bits of wood and stuff that's inside so I'll keep that to one side and we're just going to focus on this one here. So here's the tub I'm going to be using, a nice big tub I can empty out substrate inside or, and see where the millipedes are. I have a tub here for collecting them in so I can count to see how many there are and I have a separate tub um, possibly for any dead ones that I'm not going to count as living millipedes now obviously. Um, so I'll put them to one side, but I might put them back in because I'm not sure if they if they will eat any of the decaying bodies. Um, so they might use them as food. I'm going to take everything out and zoom you in in a moment so you can have a good old look. I can already see a fair few on the top, so I'm going to remove any bits of bark in here. Check if there's any on there. Nope. Oh. We have two on this piece of bark. Nope, three. Three millipedes on one piece of bark. So I'm gonna put that piece of bark in the container. And they're on there. Another piece of bark, nothing on. There are none in there. This is not something I would normally do. Um, I don't like to disturb the millipedes but just out of pure curiosity, I'm gonna do it this once, just to see how they've been getting on. And like I said, because I don't know how many babies they have at any one time, I am very interested to see, apart from the ones that I can see roaming around, around the top of the substrate and bark, um, how many there actually are in here. 
one that doesn't appear to be moving there so it looks like one dead one I'll put that one in a separate pot and I'll carry on coming through here oh let's get you because you're lovely one just there I want a little straw so we're up to five already I'm gonna carry on going through this tub of substrate and we'll have a look at how many I come across at the end <laughs> okay so I've gone through like the first layer of the soil <clears throat> and the leaf and moss mixture and um, come across quite a few so far just to show you <laughs> can you see oh yeah from just two babies and two adult millipedes I have all these that's only going through the top layer. I found one dead one. So let's just keep on going. Okay, so I've got down to the very last bit here and I haven't found any more millipedes for quite some time now in here been through all the dirt in the box my paintbrush very carefully I think I've gotten them all out from what I could find there may be some more in there so all of this will be going back into the enclosure and all the millipedes I found are in here now, they've all gone and hidden underneath the little piece of bark I left inside somewhere safe somewhere familiar somewhere out of the light so I'm going to turn this piece of bark over so you can see um, all the ones that I have found whether are, there are some more in there I don't know but let me show you there is one very lightly coloured one here and then if I turn this over there are some in the bottom and loads on there some babies some a bit bigger there might still be some in the substrate like i said but have a guess how many there are because i'm going to count them as i put them back in and that's all came from the two adults that sam gave me and the two babies that i found in my old enclosure well wasn't that exciting i am so happy don't forget um, post down below your guess how many millipedes there were all together I have counted them all and I will let you know the result of how many there are and who's guessed correctly in my next video so make sure you put the numbers down below in the comments so I can see and I'll let you know next time so thank you all for watching I'll see you in the next one bye